souhaitons-nous vraiment savoir ce qui Do se cache derrière really les produits Do we really want to know what's hiding behind the challenge the impact of our lifestyle on society. Digital technology makes information more accessible, so we need better control of value chains. This is why, and then the uh, risk for the reputation also obliges companies to revisit what they do. One of the most recent and famous accident was that of the Rana Plaza in Bangladesh in 2013. The collapsing of this building, which hosted many subcontractors working for the apparel industry, demonstrated the dysfunctions in this industry. So France was one of the first countries that included a law to prevent social and environmental impact all over the, the supply chain, and a law on the due diligence obligation of mother companies was passed. Companies have an obligation to put in place a plan to ensure better traceability. And this law comes after the Sapin II law, which is the anti-corruption law that was passed in 2016. This is a mandatory law for all companies which employ more than 500 employees, which is more strict than the law applicable to companies employing more than 5,000 employees. Although restricted, as the scope encompasses all value chains, products and services, this has an impact on thousands of companies throughout the world. In addition to that, in April 2017, an ISO standard was published on responsible procurement. The responsibilities of procurers was defined by the OECD. It's now included in French law and makes manufacturers as liable for all environmental impacts generating during the entire life cycle of a product that includes the supply chain, manufacturing process, process, usage and end of life. Design is essential because it determines 80% of all impacts over the entire value chain. This principle was reused for the management of waste but had very limited impact on business models, which have a major impact on the way industry is organized. However, no evolution was seen in the tools used to measure the performance of companies. Companies still use indicators which are related to the scope of the company without including the situation of their partners upstream and downstream their production. So the challenge is to have this principle applied throughout the governance of, co of companies by creating a new concept that of extended value chain. A value chain was defined in 1985 by Michael Porter and it shows two activity, activities. Core activities, support activities that contribute to generating profit. The idea here is not to try and enhance the value of a company for society, as explained by Grammer through the concept of share value in 2011, but to widen the scope of the, according to which we measure the performance of a company, and that leads us to the extended value chain concept that includes the overall value, economic, social and environmental value of the company, the par par partnership value and the interterritorial value of the company, which includes all territories involved in the industry. So two new tools need to be developed to better manage and to show the environmental and social benefit of a product which can help differentiate companies which act responsibly. This approach is perfectly compatible with the European Directive on uh, extra financial reporting obligations, provided all this is extended to extra financial data. For instance, social expenses should not be looked at just as a financial data. They should also translate in terms of social benefit and add to the economic profit in the profit part.
of the balance sheet. Tools need to be developed, the tool to measure the overall cost, so that we can better transition towards circular ec economic systems and systems of functionality. All this shows that we need to correct inconsistencies in the way we measure the performance of companies and we assess business models, because performance can't be limited to the strictly financial aspects. We need to include environmental and social impacts thanks to new tools and more virtuous models that help achieve sustainable development for all.